An 18-month battle over who can vote in New York City now in the hands of an appeals court. Diana Wu Jung Park believes she should have a say in who represents her community in City Hall. I've been living in this country for decades. But Park cannot vote. She is not a U.S. citizen. I came to this country when I was one. I was raised here my whole life. In December of 2021, the city council passed historic legislation allowing non-citizens who've lived in New York City for 30 days to vote in local elections, like for mayor or city council, as long as they're a permanent legal resident or have U.S. work authorization. The measure passed just before Mayor Eric Adams took office. To give someone the authority to vote on a mayoral campaign, a controller campaign, a borough president campaign, a city council campaign, when they're only here for 30 days, that concerns me. Despite raising initial questions, Mayor Adams still allowed non-citizen voting to become law in New York City, but it did not last long. Hours after going into effect, several Republican lawmakers filed this lawsuit. At the time, the head of the state Republican Party told PIX11 News. The state constitution is rather explicit that in, it, in its prescription for U.S. citizenship to vote in elections. Last June, a state Supreme Court justice struck down our city, our vote, ruling it violated the state constitution. But the Adams administration appealed. Friday, advocates on both sides of the issue testified during a hearing in the state Supreme Court's appellate division. Susan Lerner of Common Cause New York hopes our city, our vote, will once again become law. Reinforce and recognize the right of New York City to decide how and who among its people will get to vote. Shirley and Corey, those oral arguments stretched on for hours today with several organizations offering testimony. A decision in this case is not expected until after the summer. Reporting live from Brooklyn Heights, Ayanna Harry, PIX11 News.